So Gaffer, a three all draw in the end, uh, 87th minute equaliser from them. How disappointed are you with that? Yeah, very much so. I thought, you know, we deserved to win the game today. I think um, on the balance of play and opportunities created, um, we deserve to win. But we've had a couple of really good chances in the game we haven't taken. And it's always a danger that you, you know, you concede a goal late. And um, it was the manner of the goal we conceded, which I'm sure we'll come on to in a bit, which was disappointing. But um, yeah, as a team, we've done everything the last one, worked hard, passed the ball better today. Um, took more responsibility with them about the ball. And um, yeah, a couple of moments we switched off, they've, they've scored goals, but um, yeah, we should have been out of sight. Yeah, it was a faster start, um, sort of almost dorking esque. Um, do you think that in a way we sort of went going 2 0 up that quickly, sort of we got a bit complacent, or, or do you not think that? I don't think so. I think um, just little, little moments of concentration, the laps of concentration. Uh, give them opportunities and um, you know you can see why they've paid money for the for the centre forward from Maidstone he's um, you know got opportunity scores a goal and he works hard and you know he's uh, he's one of those players who don't need many chances to score by him so um, yeah I, I just think that at that time at 2-0 it's always dangerous when you go 2-0 up like that for you know for players to think that the game's won I was expecting us to go and do like a Dorking when we scored two goals early and, we, and then we went on and dominated the game. We did dominate the game enough in the second half because they were pushing. But um, listen, at this stage, everyone's playing for something, or majority of teams are. So um, fair play to them. They've, they've, they've stayed in it to the end. Yeah, it was a good finish from Carter. Talk us through that goal. Yeah, really pleased. Great little bit of football. Good finish by Carter. Danny Whitehall, some great touches up there today. Some great balls in the box for the goals. Um, you know, and um, Carter's has, has got another goal because of, because Danny's Danny's touch was fantastic for him. Um, it was a good goal. It was a good build-up play, and uh, and it looked like it was going to be our day, but um, it wasn't in the end. Yeah, a man who doesn't often get on the score sheets. He's saying Cisse popped up with a goal, and again, it came from an excellent cross from Danny Whitehall, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, with Cowles being being rested today, you know, and and uh, a few others not being involved. Uh, Danny's got great delivery. Obviously, he's a goal scorer and he wants to be in the box to score the goals, but he's got fantastic delivery. And it showed today um, with a couple of assists in there for, for, for the goals. It's, um, he's done his part. He can't always be the one that scores the goals to, to get us the wins, but he's definitely played his part today. Yeah, and then there was an incident with their, with their last goal. We'll come on to the first two in a minute, but the last goal, the players were appealing for a foul. What, what did you make of the incident? Yeah, Burham, the ball gets played down the channel. George is in front of him. He runs across the back of George, clips his heel, and he trips. George trips over, and uh, they don't see it. It's played on, says says he slips, and goes down and crosses the ball. And the lad scores three all in the 85th minute. And the lads have worked absolutely tirelessly to try and try and get a win today, and it's been ruined by the officiating. You know, if the referee didn't see it, it's better the linesman didn't see it. I've seen it back, seen it back straight away, and it's a foul. Um, as a last man defender, you don't throw yourself on the floor. If you, you know when you're under pressure, so uh, I just absolutely flabbergasted to be honest um, that that wasn't seen. Yeah, and the first two goals as well. You said you were disappointed with the way in which we conceded them. Yeah, but it's um, you know we've, we've just switched up off a couple of times and, and they've they've managed to sort of the only time really didn't enter our box much at all, unless it was a free kick. You know, up until their goal, we've we've been in command of the game. Um, and that's the frustrating thing. But we need to we need to do that better. We need to stay focused as a team more for longer. Because as, as you play against better teams, as you go up um, up the league, you start to uh, get, you'll get punished more often than not. And um, I think Old Shot did that today. To be fair to him, fair result or no? We should have won, in my opinion. We've had the better chances. We've had the better possession. We've had the better play, and um, we've been undone by some some poor fish for the last goal. Um, so, yeah, we, the lads are gutted, but I'm saying to them, like, listen, you've got to use that now, that disappointment, that feeling, that horrible feeling in your stomach for the next game to where we face Gateshead, who have won six on the bounce now um, with, their, with their win today. So they'll be coming down here and full of confidence. Yeah, Bromley versus Bromwood ended 1-1. We stay in the playoffs, albeit in seventh. Yeah. How positive is that, that we're still in the playoffs, so we still have something to sort of, you know... Yeah, I think mentally for the boys, it's important that we're still in there. Um, but we've missed an opportunity to get some daylight between us and Bromley, um, both both uh, Friday and today. So uh, that's frustrating. Um, but at the same time, I was I was much more pleased today with uh, 
with the team and the way they applied themselves today to the game. So good crowd here today. You know, it's a good atmosphere, local derby, and I felt that was um, it was important that they seen that, and um, the local derby was reflected on the pitch as well. And I think you see a few tackles flying in, which is was always nice to see. Fair from both teams. You know, both showed that, that they cared and that, that they, it matters to us. Yeah, were you disappointed that you couldn't get the three points for the Spitfires fans? Of course. You know, at this stage, it's massive. Every game's a cup final now. We've got four massive games left. And uh, we need them to come and follow us and get behind us home and away and try and get us over the line as far as getting into the playoffs. And then it's a whole new world again. So, um, But listen, we're still in there. Four games to go. If you ask me at the start of the season, you'll be in the playoffs in four games to go. Would I take it? 100%. So... It's not all doom and gloom. We've got to look at the bigger picture. Yeah. Do we have any updates on injuries? I saw Alfie Lloyd went off after being down. Yeah, Alfie's um, Alfie's struggling a little bit there. Was just like a bit of cramping at really. He's, he's not played a lot recently, and where he's so explosive and quick, he's you know he he does work his muscles a lot. Um, Jake Hess gives some crutches at the moment. He's was um, doing rehab and he's hurt the back of his knee, waiting for a scan. And um, Corey Panther still with a sore groin. So. Um, apart from that, we've we've got a good squad at the moment. Yeah, and finally, next up, Gateshead. We've got one day's rest. How do you plan for a game like that? Uh, listen, we're coming tomorrow. We'll have a warm down, stroke uh, recovery, and then we'll do a presentation to the boys on the opposition, and then we'll maybe look at a few things we did well and not so well um, with with sort of groups of players tomorrow uh, to try and sort of get the boys up again and get them feeling that you know we've played we've played okay today. We've come off the pitch um, drawing. It feels like a loss because it's a late equaliser. But, um, you know, we've got to dust ourselves down and go again. There's no time for a finish over ourselves. Perfect. Cheers, guys. Thanks.